morning guys we're off um, we're off to Riventon waterfalls to meet uh, Joseph Sager I'll put a link up for him I'll put a link down in the description below for all the people attending today hopefully we'll get to meet a few new vloggers so yeah looking forward to this let's get going Looks like we just had a, another visitor turn up. So uh, let's say hello. Take you down to meet our illustrious leader. Mm. Morning, boys. Hello. <laughs> you right? This is Joseph, and this is Tim, as you should already know by now. Just uh, following the pack, uh, trying not to slip as it's a bit wet and muddy underfoot. We just come across a river. <coughs> uh, we've got Graham and his mate behind. The rest of the pack are up in front, as you can see up here. And all this nice fancy fly tipping, which is really great. Why don't you take your litter room with you? Got me wellies on. Um, met a few people that I follow. Uh, Graham, re photography, obviously Tim, Day, and uh, Joseph Sager. And like I said, uh, Graham Cave is behind me. There's a couple of other faces as well that I've not come across before. Everyone's trying not to slip down the bank. Just following the river up now at the moment. Uh, see if we can find ourselves something spectacular. So here we go, another river. I think we'll watch this one as well. Everybody's just contemplating uh, where to go. Everyone's getting a bit warm. It's a lovely little area. A cracking waterfall coming down off the bank with a great big cascade running down the river with a nice bit of driftwood in it. Uh, Tim's just making his way across the, the river at the moment. Apparently he's prone candidate to go in, so we're all standing in anticipation. Uh, it's quite slippy under the water. Other people are milling around looking for compositions, taking coats off and things. 
I think I'll have a look and see what I can find. Maybe set up right in the middle of the river. Right, as you can see, I've set the camera up. Um, I like this little composition. I was just doing a little bit of B-roll and I just noticed the water dropping over the top of this rock. Where the rock's dead flat, it just seems to be running off the side. And I've got two little rocks in the foreground, which is giving you a bit of a V to lead you up to it. Um, they say things work in threes, and this is like a triangle leading you with your, with your triangle setting in the middle. Um, I've got my Fuji today, but I travel a little bit lighter. Um, I've pre focused on the waterfall and cascade. I'm at F9 ISO 200. Um, I've put a polarizer on because the polarizer is taking out a lot of the glare as you see down through the rocks, which is quite nice. Um, we're at about 50 of a second at F9. You think there's a little bit shaded in there. It's actually given me some movement in that water, and it's quite nice as it is. I don't think I need to put any more stoppers on. You can see the bubbles in it, but you've still got that nice texture, which is quite nice. Right, now up in front of me, we've got this massive cascade. Um, so I'm going to take my coat off for a minute, let some air in, because I'm quite warm at the moment, after walking up the steep hill, and I'm going to have a look at this cascade. We've got this lovely old piece of wood down in front of us. So if I can get here in the river with my boots on, I'll shoot straight up the top over the top of it. Uh, once I've got set up, I'll show you what we're doing. across the river. It's only a small river but it's quite slippy. No one's actually ended up in it as yet. Um, just stood next to Neville here. He's just been taking a picture. How you doing Neville? You alright? Trying not to fall in. Uh, he's just been shooting from a low angle looking up underneath the, the, the bit of driftwood here. What I've set up is a, an angle on a portrait orientation. I'm looking straight down the river. I've got this lovely big boulder down here with all the little green textures on it and the leading line sort of sending you up into the image and then the river comes in from the bottom left hand third camera's come back to sleep so I'll switch the camera back on. It's very difficult to photograph with all these other photographers around us. It's quite hard to get a, a position without somebody in it. Um, so, Neville, just give us six inches for a second, just there. That's it. You've got to be, got to be rude to be kind. <laughs> right, I'm going to hit two second timer. Focus on the driftwood. Polarizer on to eliminate the glare and that's a lovely... Cheers Neville. That's a lovely little image. I just love the way that the texture and the greens just send you off into the image. So, enjoy. I've not got the camera with me, um, but I've just walked into the river and I've seen this little tiny holly leaf attached to a rock. Um, so I've climbed into the water and got myself in a position where I can get the leaf. Uh, it's a crack little image. My F9, I've got a little leading um, from the stream that's flowing, which is giving me a bit of an S, S shape to it. And it just takes you to the, to the leaf. It's very hard to spot, so I'm quite pleased I've seen it. So I'm gonna take a couple just to try and get this bit of an S curve to take you up to it uh, as the water changes. Um, I haven't got my camera rolling, but I'm going to show you the image. It is a lovely, lovely little image with beautiful S coming off the water. Very, very simple, very, very fetching. The greens just pop out of it where it's stuck under the water. Beautiful little image. Right, I'm just back in the river again now. Um, I've seen a composition I like, but Alan's at the moment doing one very similar to what uh, I was thinking of. Uh, there's a nice little rock down at the bottom with a little green leaf on it at the moment and a coloured, the light rock on top of it. It leads you to a small cascade. Um, cascade. Cascade's not my word, it's the word that Tim would use. And now he's got me saying cascade. But there's a nice little cascade leading down and then above the cascade there's uh, a, a straight rock that's taking you up to the big falls. Um, so when Alan's finished doing what he's doing, I'm going to push him in the water and then I'm going to set my camera up somewhere similar to where he is now and see if we can capture that image as well. So I'll come back to you and show you how we get on. But when I came round, I noticed another rock. Um, there's a, 
a, a straight rock with a small leaf on it and then a pale rock which seeks to set your eye off at the foreground and then it takes you to the next level with the same again you've got another cascade and another drop it takes you to the next level and then into the big falls um, I've got the camera set up in a portrait orientation and I'm focusing in the center falls um, at f14 now I think I'm getting enough depth of fill. I've got a polarizer on and that's enough. I don't need any filters because the movement in the waters, you know, is, is enough for it to be slightly out of focus and slightly blurry and softer. And, I, and I, I'm going to try and avoid using the bigger stoppers today. I want a two second timer, Let's say F14, ISO 200, and it's about two seconds I think it's shooting at at the moment. And it's, it's really, I think that's my favorite shot of the day to be honest so far. I'm going to try before I take the camera away and see if we can shoot it on a horizontal. Um, only because I might be able to crop it to a square and get a little bit more of the falls in at the bottom. Um, I'm going to try it anyway, because it takes you up. I've got the rock in the bottom thirds. The waterfall is in the centre. I've got a cascade coming round to the right-hand side. And then on the bottom left, you've got some more soft water. <laughs> We've just had a bit of an action. Just had a bit of an accident and uh, unfortunately I never got it on camera but uh, I've got some decency, I'm not <laughs> See certain people won't film because they, they have respect. <laughs> Me personally it's part of today, it's part of the story. Do you know what? <laughs> what do you want me to say? Oh, I really got it about it. It was face down, wasn't yeah, it? So, I, don't, I, don't think, I think might be all right. You might be safe. I, 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 I the lens, there's no, a possibility no, no, that a bit of blue tack. I reckon, you reckon that's repairable? Yeah, I reckon some blue tack. I reckon that's repairable. Blue I mean, Peter's done amazing things in the park. I mean, my, my polarizer's a bit wet. But that'll dry off. That, oh, that'll dry, oh, that'll dry off. And apparently the water around here is so pure. Still wouldn't drink it though. <laughs> yeah, we've had a bit of a, we've had an accident and uh, Gary Ree photography, as you've seen a couple of clips, um, his camera come off the top of his tripod. It's a Manfrotto um, Arca Swiss type tripod head. Uh, it's very similar to the one I've got. Uh, if Manfrotto's watching, um, there is a there is a problem with your tripod heads. They they stick down and they don't lock on they don't lock on the mount properly. Um, it might be worth having a look at them. Yeah, I've taken a few images down here. Changing the subject. Um, it's a lovely little area. I'm going to be coming back. I'm shooting with a standard lens, kit lens, 18 to 55, which comes on the Fuji. Um, yeah, everyone seems to be having a lot of fun. A lot of people talking, uh, conversations going on all over the place. Pretty good day so far. We've just come across the river. We're just making our way down, uh, down the stream a little bit. Um, Graham's made it across safely. We've got three uh, three stragglers at the top there. You probably can see in the distance that. All right, they've all run off. I think we better go and catch them up. Brought me parachute, so <laughs> we're gonna have a sweepstake on this. Feels good to tell. Right, we're back with you. Uh, we just climbed down. I came down from up there, down on these rocks, which are quite slippy. The other guys are trying to come down there, which is even slippier. Um, a bit treacherous underfoot, but I think it might be worth it. Now we're down here. I think there's been a nice image to be had looking up through the falls here. So I'm going to get my camera out, see if I can set it up somehow on this 
bit of a peninsula type of thing and uh, see if we can get an image going up the falls. Just climbed up on the on this ridge a little bit behind me. Um, I set the camera up in a portrait orientation and I can see the cascades coming down, the waterfalls coming down and dropping off the ridge at the bottom. I've got a polarizer on which is taking some of the glare out of the water which is quite nice. Again the water is rushing at such a speed that you don't really need to slow it down too much. Two second timer as normal but yeah it's well worth coming down. I think what I might do is go down a bit lower and try and shoot a horizontal shot sort of up the water and try and get that spread across the image. a little bit further around the waterfall now as you can see uh, we've got this lovely waterfall cascading down and it's running down for this little valley there um, and I like this bit of rock sticking out but the light leading down there is beautiful so I've set the camera up uh, horizontal I'm going to roll the polarizer around now just to make sure I eliminate all the glare I can the color tones are beautiful the greens are really popping out against that dark background the light keeps coming and going but it's got a nice blue cloudy sky now um, which is giving us some nice dappled light through the trees when it comes down through. So F18 is giving me about 0.2 of a second, um, which is which is not bad. Let's see the leading through, beautiful. It just goes down into this cavern, and it, it sort of says the mystery is where it, you know where the image is actually leading to. Um, as normal on the food, I'm at ISO 200. I'm going to put it on a two-second timer, make sure I eliminate camera shake. And what I'm doing is I'm focusing on this big rock that's in the middle of the waterfall. That way F18, everything should be in focus. So I'm gonna hit the shutter button, give it a two second timer. Check the image, make sure we're all in. And yeah, it's, it's got a lovely bit of texture to the water. And like I say, the, the mystery of where that flow goes makes us start to think and wonder what's around the corner. Quite a nice image. Have a look, tell me what you think. We've got to get up there now. So I'm the last one, so I've got to go. So it's going to be a tricky, slippy, muddy path, I think. But we'll keep stepping, we'll keep moving forward, and hope the momentum will help us up the hill. <laughs> They're all at the top there waiting for us. We're at the top. These little legs got us back up. Right, move on. It must be time for a cup of coffee, I reckon. So, onward. Right, we've just got back to the car and we're going off to the second location because we're going to go for some lunch now. Um, I might cut it here and uh, we'll do part two next week. Uh, part two is going to be whatever we get up to now. Um, I've enjoyed the morning, I've enjoyed uh, meeting everybody, um, especially Mr. Gary, uh, Re Photography. It's been nice meeting you. Uh, I've been following you for some time now, so nice one. All right get the car started let's get moving on please like subscribe please tell your friends and you will have to log into a google account that way you can then subscribe and you can leave comments and stuff like that dead easy it's free you don't have to pay for anything and then you can like and subscribe to everything on youtube so till next time see you soon have fun bye for now